Hello students, Anubal sir once again and in this video I will discuss some important things regarding your coordination chemistry. Coordination chemistry is very important topic for your board exam as well as competitives and in coordination chemistry uh, it has two parts that means one is the IUPAC portion of the inorganic complexes and another one is the bonding that is crystal field theory, valence bond theory, isomerism and the rest of the parts. So in this short video, I will discuss some important things regarding the bonding and hybridization part of the metal atom that is present in the coordination sphere. Okay. So let us consider some example that is K4 FeCN whole 6. Okay, potassium ferrocyanate K4 FeCN whole 6. So here, this is the central atom. This iron is the central atom and it has two valencies namely primary valency and secondary valency what is the primary valency the outside of the sphere the element which is eliminated that is the primary valency so you will get the fecn6 whole 4 minus as potassium has got 1 plus so 4 potassium will will be will have 4 k plus so total 4 minus it will retain that is why in the coordination sphere the central atom has the primary valency 4 and the secondary valency that is the coordination number that will be the 6 as it contains 6 cyanide okay we need to remember that in the within the third bucket portion that is in the coordination sphere no sodium potassium can be present only those elements can be present or those metal atoms can be present which has vacant 3d or 4d orbitals because metals have general a tendency that generally have a tendency that they will remove electron they have a tendency to lose electron but if any metal like aluminium like iron like cobalt if they have vacant orbital that means they can accept electrons also and the electron donors here the cyanide is the electron donors they will be known as your ligands okay so if any ligand has a tendency to donate the electrons more and more rapidly then it will be strong ligand strong field ligand and if it is weak field then it does not have a tendency to lose their electron very easily that means all the halogens like f minus like Cl minus, like Br minus, like I minus, all are weak field again. But carbon monoxide, Cl minus, ethylene diamine, in your board exam question may comes like En, okay. En means, mindedly follow, En means ethylene diamine. They are all strong field again because ethylene diamine has the binding side 2, okay. So its density is 2, okay. So, this type of questions may come, okay. So, let us solve the question that the oxidation state of chromium, I repeat, the oxidation state of chromium in the complex Cr NH3 whole 4 Cl2 plus, okay. What? Option A, option A is 3, option B is 2, option c is plus one and option d is zero these are your options and we need to find out the oxidation state of this chromium okay i forgot to tell that uh, there are some ligands which are neutral ligand uh, for example cn minus has minus one cl minus has minus one charge similarly oxalate ion have minus two charge similarly there are some ligand like H2O like ammonia like CO they are neutral field ligand I mean neutral field so it contribution will be zero charge contribution will be zero carbon monoxide will be zero ethylene diamine organic ligand they will be zero so these are NO nitrosyl these are H2O aqua these are contribution charge contribution will be zero as they contain neutral ligand capacity okay so here minus 2 because one chlorine atom has the charge minus 1 so minus 2 and here 4 or 40 whatever charge will be 0 as their charge contribution is 0 they are neutral field again 
so chromium we have to make it plus 1 that means chromium will be plus 3 so which option is our correct option a is our correct answer okay next question the hybridization of iron atom in FeCN whole 6 3 minus what is the hybridization of iron atom in FeCN whole 6 3 minus okay first of all we need to draw the structures FeCN whole 6 3 minus and we need to find out the hybridization of this Fe options are given option is sp2 option b is d2 sp3 option c is sp3 d2 and option d is dsp2 this question has come in so many times in competitive exam and it is very much important because this question on the basis of your vbt concept okay ligand capacity i have told you earlier that cn minus is a strong field ligand that is why an iron atomic number of iron is fe okay so iron has the electronic configuration in the ground state that is 3d6 4s2 18 plus 8 26 so in this state iron has present in the plus 3 oxidation state because 6 cm minus will contribute 6 minus and to make it as a whole minus 3 it must have the charge plus 3 so in the in this complex iron is present as 3d5 and 4s0 because 3d as 3 plus so 2 electrons and 1 electrons total 3 electrons will be removed and if 3 plus will have the charge 3d5 therefore we need to we need to make the bonding that is if it is 3d 1 2 3 4 5 and if it is 4s if it is 4p and 4d 4f all are there but they are vacant okay so 1 2 3 4 5 this is your ground state electronic configuration of fe3 plus okay but in the excited state that means when ligand approaches to fe3 plus what is happening there as cn minus is strong field ligand that is why pairing occurs okay characteristics of strong field ligand means number one that is pairing occurs because here pairing energy will be lower okay so pairing occurs number two as pairing occurs so number of unpaired electrons will be decreased that is why magnetic moment will be decreased so they will remain as diamagnetic substances clear that is why here pairing occurs in the excited state and the state becomes 3d 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so these two orbitals become free and here cn minus can donate their electrons very easily and 4s okay so the hybridization becomes what 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so the hybridization becomes d2 sp3 and in, is it is an inner orbital complex so where the option yes option b is here the correct answer okay now come to the next question that is Fe F6 3 minus Fe F6 3 minus okay the next question is your Fe F6 3 minus and we need to find out the hybridization of this F here also Fe is 3 plus as x minus 6 equals to minus 3 so Fe becomes 3 plus and Fe 3 plus in the earlier exam we have already discuss that 3d 5 fe 3 plus because 3d 6 4 is 2 3 electrons are removed 3d 5 and here we need to draw the diagrams like this okay and it becomes 4d also there because 4s 4s 4p 4d 4f 4 4 all are vacant okay so in the ground state this is the general electronic configuration of fe3 plus but fluorine chlorine bromine iodine all the halogen atoms are more electronegative so they don't have a tendency to donate their electrons to the metal atoms that is why they are very much weak field again so no pairing will take place and fe and fluorine will donate the lone pairs like this and the hybridization becomes what sp3 d2 in our previous complex we have seen that 
D two sp three, and in this complex we are watching this that is sp three D two, so it is outer orbital complex. And question comes that what is the magnetic moment of this? Magnetic moment will be mu equals to root over n into n plus two Bohr magneton, where n is the number of unpaired electrons. So in the previous case. When cyanide is there, number of unpaired is one. That is why the magnetic moment n we need to put here one in place of n, and here we need to put five in place of n, and we can find the magnetic moment. So this type of questions related to coordination, chemistry, and bonding, these are very much important. Thank you for watching my video, and for further detail, please contact and subscribe and like this video. Thank you.